Um, I want to talk to you about things that appear to come out of the blue, that um, are so unexpected. Um, I should say I've been to your workshops the, twice before, and each time it was manifesting money was the most important thing. And I successfully raised my vibration that I was very comfortable, quite happy. Um, what I'm asking for now is something that money can't buy, because... Um, we would like to take money completely out of the equation altogether, because you have a vibrational credit limit or credit line that is never ending. It's the vibration you want to spend, not the money. And I had a, a wonderful lifestyle. I, had a, I was in a partnership with a, a man who was uh, 20 years older than me, and we had both been widowed around the same time. So we had supported each other very well. We were soulmates, and we enjoyed travel and walking on the beaches and gathering collecting artworks and food and wine, beautiful lifestyle. I was very secure, very happy, it was very loving, um, uh, just extraordinarily comfortable and easy, and everybody envied it, and I had no Anybody problems. Anybody feeling the big butt coming up? <laughs> yeah, it was a huge butt. Um, six months ago, he announced one day, I mean, we were walking along one day, holding hands, and he, very loving, really, really loving, and one, the next day he informed me that he was leaving, and he started packing up his stuff and left. And, I mean, within a few weeks he was basically saying, oh, I don't know what was going through my head, that kind of stuff, you know, but a lot of damage was done to me in, in that case that, I mean, not, it's trust. And I had no issue with trust before. I never talked about trust. It wasn't my conversation. It wasn't anything like that. And in my vortex is the trusting version of me, and I can't line up with it. People introduce me to, they all have friends that they want to introduce me to, and my first thing is, Oh God, I'm never going to trust again here. And I'm finding that so difficult because it just came out of the blue. I have never had any problems with trust before in my life, ever. I was a very trusting person. I never had anything done to me that created an idea in my head that I was lacking trust. And I wasn't having a conversation about trust. I was. Well, we want to cut you off here a little bit because what you're basically saying to us, and we certainly understand where you're coming from, is so, Abraham, you're talking about this law of attraction thing. And something happened to me that I cannot find anything in my vibration that supports it. Why would something come to me that I had no awareness of? And we say, well, first, Let's just be clear that it happens all the time that things happen that people don't have awareness of because they're not vibrationally aware of what they're doing in relationship with what's in their vortex. We said earlier that as you've been living life, you've been putting all kinds of things into that vortex and that the culmination of them equals something really extraordinary. And that when you come into vibrational alignment with it, that extraordinary experience is what you are living. So we want to start at a more general basis place because there's something that we have to establish first before any conversation that we're going to have with you is going to make any sense to you at all. And Esther's experienced some of this too with Jerry's recent reemergence yes. into non-physical. She didn't realize, and you didn't realize either, how much of her well-being was coming to her as a result of her observation of things that were good. Now, that's not a bad thing. It's lovely to have a nice life that you're observing that is the basis for the perpetuating of more of that. But the security that you are looking for, the freedom that you are looking for, 
does not come from another person who is standing next to you or standing mm -hmm. with you it comes from one place and one place only and that is from your conscious not your unconscious your conscious alignment with the source that is within you and so it's a very common thing for teachers like you it's a very common thing for people to move around this planet in fact almost everybody is it's the thing that most relationships are built on and it goes something like I stand here in my singularity and I am less than I want to be so I'd like to couple up with someone else in order to shore myself up in fact I'd like to partner up in some significant way it's the reason that humans often gather together in groups it's the reason that you believe that you need more numbers in order to battle against things that are unwanted but it is a flawed premise of your life experience and it is not where trust comes from if trust is something that you feel that you are now looking for as a result of this that you have lived we want you to feel the awakening of that new desire within you and we want you to understand that that trust that alignment comes from one place and one place only and that is alignment with that which you are so we know that there are details of your experience we know that there are things about it that were wonderful we know that there are things about it that can be more that's always the case but we also know about you and everyone else by the way that what you're really reaching for in the absolute freedom and trust and stability and security that what you're reaching for is that definable and accomplishable alignment with the source within you you see so anytime you can look to anyone ever and say to them because of what you have done I have lost my sense of well-being mm -hmm. we have to say then there was something more that needed to be established and we know people don't want to hear it and we don't want to say it in fact we never do say it because you are not being assigned lessons because nothing could ever come to you if there were not a vortex version of it nothing could ever come to you if you had not launched it in other words this is not something that has come to you because of something that you have done wrong this is something that is happening with you happening to you as a result of the expansion that you are reaching for when you reach for and find a sense of stability that is not based upon someone else standing next to you now you are ready to finally begin creating the life experience that you've come to live now we're not encouraging you to get rid of your partners that's not what this conversation is about but we are strongly encouraging you not to count on them for all of the things that you count on it's part of the reason that relationships are so hard for so many of you you say to them because of this thing that you've done I feel this way and you need to be different than you are so that I can feel better and that is a bondage that you apply to yourself because not only is it not their responsibility they cannot be the way you need them to be and we know this feels like it's a really big and basic thing in other words I'm not asking for everything I'm just asking for them to not to run off that doesn't seem like so much it seems sort of like the agreement that we had but we want you to understand that in the disappearing temporarily disappearing of the trust and the stability that you thought you were accomplishing by looking for it in another person you now have the opportunity to look for it and find it where it really is and once you do and only when you do will you be standing in the place that you've put into your vortex so many times mm -hmm. in other words last time you got left in another way you launched a powerful rocket to never find yourself standing in that place again that's right and so it is something that was active in your vibration it isn't something that came out of the blue it's a void that you were attempting to fill in an unfillable way you see and now you have this opportunity to fill that void with the only thing that will fill it with your true alignment with your true connection with source and then everything else will come back into alignment it is our expectation that that relationship will renew itself but there's something important that you want to do first you say okay. that makes sense yeah thank you yes indeed
on the aisle? Further back? Yes. 